Hey, Scott. Man, we gotta go. It's time to get out of here. This place is too creepy. Hey, Scott. <laughs> We're gonna hit both Area 51 and the Clown Hotel, so I'll keep you guys updated. Peace. Very cool. Very cool. All right, we'll be back in a second. 
when we get closer. Yeah, it looks like they're building something out here. We thought it was we thought it was alien tech at first, but yeah. is this it? Is this the one we can't? Something out there is flashing. I don't know. They said that we can go all the way up to the gate, and poor dude. dude that's straight up like that's straight up satcom, dude. Like radar, like over there to the right. cameras everywhere. Cameras everywhere. Area 51. Aliens that way. Aliens that way. Probably aliens in the ground. Cameras on the ground. We're not going to scatter too long, but we're here at Area 51. I can hear something moving over there. Check it out. So, uh, just there it is. There's some photos. We're not going to stay long at all. Uh, got our photo. Scott's butt. Uh, as you can see, we're way out in the middle of fucking nowhere. So, uh, I will post this if I can. Alright, I'm getting out of here. We survived. We made it out to the main highway. Scott's getting a photo of a stop sign. Next stop, Clown Motel. So you know, it is me and Sucker Dog here. Take this shit off. About to check in. Wander on out here. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a better shot of the sign with my better camera after we check in. But uh, that's it, man. Clown Motel. Let's go inside and check in. Shall we? All right, gang. Here I am. Scott's over behind me. As you can see, we are at the world famous clown motel. Uh, we have been given room 108, which I have read online that said it's be the most haunted of the rooms available. So we'll see how that works out. Um, we're going to go inside and do a little talking. We're going to walk through the cemetery over here. 
that's right next to it um, we're gonna go up and down some of the roomways here so we can kind of take a look at everything and uh, this is what you guys paid for me to come out and do so I am at the world famous clown motel in the scariest room available uh, almost haunted room available I'm sorry the Pennywise room uh, we'll show you here in a bit I got some footage from the other camera when we came in and uh, we are 212 miles north of Las Vegas uh, we went to Area 51 a little early today, so there'll be a little bit of that um, on here beforehand. But uh, yeah, there it is. World famous clown motel. Uh, the, the sign up there says world famous. We might even have balloons to check in. So you guys, uh, hope you enjoy. It's just going to be a short video because there's not much we can do out here. But uh, Thanks for donating and supporting us. Scott, you want to come say hi? Yeah. Hi. Come, come get on camera. What's going on? That's fun. Walk, that's scary. Find, find yourself. You see yourself? And, um, yeah, I don't know. You go. This is an experience for sure. And it looks like I'm on like live TV right now. It's pretty cool. I'm reporting. And today... Uh, Coming to you live from Tonopah, Nevada. Area 51 today was great. Area this is the uh, awesome. clown motel, as you can see in the background. Yeah. Um, this is cool. And there's four different rooms here. Four he's it. Uh, Michael, Michael Myers, Myers and, and Exorcist. And Exorcist, yeah. yeah. We, we got the uh, It room. Yeah, yeah. As I was telling them, we got room 108, which I have read is the most haunted of the rooms. Mm. So we're going to go check out the graveyard and swing by all the room areas and uh, kind of show the place off. Again, thanks to everyone who donated to get us out here. Um, we will be right back. Oh no, thank you.
room 108, Scott filming. Supposedly the most haunted room here. What was that sound? <laughs> you get that bed. <laughs> Mom makes Scott sleep over here. <laughs> Dude, it's totally creepy. Dude, so creepy, man. I thought we had a refrigerator in this room. It is over there. It's right these the body parts. So here's the clown room. All right, let's, uh... <laughs> Scott's sleeping on that bed. All right. a little picture in picture here uh, to talk about the cemetery here real quick so um, you can hear those little muffles out there's the hair going for y'all pre Halloween I haven't styled yet so you see Tonopah first Tonopah uh, Cemetery 1901 to 1911 um, so everyone buried in there was buried between those years there's no sound here as we're down there but if you listen like from the very beginning and up here in a second, you'll hear the microphone like pass through the wind or make noise. The microphone is on, but for some reason, while we're in the cemetery, I'm not getting any audio. If you notice the footage right before we come in, <laughs> I thought it was a suggestion box. Um, I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, um, you'll hear the microphone scuff and stuff like right there um, every now and then. So. I'm not sure why we didn't have sound in the cemetery. We have sound in the footage after we leave the cemetery. You see the hotel, there's Scott. The chair for some reason, I don't know why. Um, really old, dark cemetery. It goes back a lot further than we thought it did. Oh, there's me seeing, wow. See, can you again, you hear again. You hear that there's, my girl's making some noise. Um, But why it's not picking us up, I don't know. So I guess this kind of goes to one of our strange events there. Again, the microphone works just fine. Um, it worked just fine in the scene before this. It worked just fine in the scene after this. I have no idea why it's not picking up our voices here. Because we're talking, making comments, making jokes, apologizing to ghosts, all the good stuff. And it almost sounds like someone has their hand over the microphone. Like right there, you hear that? So it's really, really weird. Um, I, of course, do not have my hand over the microphone. I'm just walking around showing this. And then we didn't find out to the next morning. There's a sign on the motel that we missed that says, Beware Open Graves. And a little bit further back, there are some open graves we saw the next day. Why on earth a cemetery where everyone's buried from 1902 to 1911 would have open graves is beyond me. I mean, I don't understand why why that would be out there. Um, but again, if you listen, you can kind of hear uh, bit by bit that the microphone, like it's been scuffed or muffled. I don't get it. Why is there a cage around certain plots that's also very strange? Um, again, this goes a lot further back. Uh, it's a very, very big cemetery that we couldn't see during the night. Uh, it's much, much, much darker. I realized there was no one in the room above us. 
so I don't know if that counts either. The film crew were in the room next and above us, to the side, um, but not right out above us. And you'll even see Scott and I walking down the uh, walkway here a little bit, looking at all the rooms. There's no one in the room above us, um, but we both heard noise uh, above us that night. So, is that something? Maybe. I don't know. Um, Again, I guess these are the two things that were kind of eerie about the trip uh, in hindsight. Of course, that is right there with the F is that little dog thing doing on a grave that's from 19-something. Uh, it's gotten a little closer than I would have. Um, again, very old cemetery. Uh, again, right next to the Clown Motel. A lot of them are unmarked. These weird cage things? I don't know what's going on there. I mean, why does someone need a cage around their grave? I'm just asking. So, again, not sure what that light was out there. I think those are some other buildings and homes, but during the day, there's a little bit of something back there. We weren't going to mess with it until it went away. Stable, I got the light attached to it. in that room. Group 15. Clown. So I might stay in that one, so it's not peeking the window. Well, let's head on out this way. Look Scott, get behind me. Just in case we ever use this for uh, B-roll footage. room is open. It's a Jason Voorhees room. So focus. And something to see that it's all nice with that. Downstairs. Hey guys, doing? How are you guys doing? Are you guys paranormal? No. Uh, oh. We're not part of that group. I'm trying to get over my favorite clowns. My friend's paid for me to come out here, and I told him I would videotape it and put it on YouTube. Oh, nice. Uh, you guys paranormal? Having a good time? No, we oh, actually just a shot a movie here. here. Oh, the clown motel thing? Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. Coolio, man. Well, good yeah. luck to you guys. I hope thank you so much. Right. You oh, too. So thank you so much. We're just going to wander around. Be safe, guys. You too. Thank you. But we did get room 108. I'm told that was the... The haunt one? The haunt one. So I know 111 is haunted because I stayed there two years ago. Yeah. The first movie. And a lot of stuff happened in 111. 
Well, hopefully one awaits. Quiet. That's helpful. Well, hopefully good luck with your film, man. Oh, yeah, you, awesome. you as well. Hopefully you guys you. get some good footage. Hope so. We went to the cemetery a second ago, but I didn't want to go too far into it. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. It was nice and creepy. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, that's why I only try to go in the daytime. Yeah. You know? We'll check it out again in the morning, I think. Oh, definitely. Well, the best of luck to you guys. Thanks, man. So, uh, there's just recliners outside for some reason. So we decided to just chill for a second. Take it easy. There's always drama at the Clown Hotel. Always. Okay, gang, so uh, this is the room. You can see Pennywise behind me. Sucker dog over there. Uh, Hopefully not getting naked just yet. Not yet. Uh, not yet. Don't wanna, don't we had a little lie. drama here at the hotel. They were filming a movie called, uh, I don't want to say what they called because I'm on top of the drama. Uh, some of the ladies started yelling at each other. It's kind of crazy. On a side note, they have filmed a movie here before called The Clown Motel. And uh, I think that crew was out here earlier today, maybe. So if you uh, get a chance to watch those films, I would uh, see that at Clown Motel. One, and two, and three. Let's see how it goes. Did they, <laughs> little did they know they had balloons on premise. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's to uh, hopefully a very quiet night. We are in room 108, which is supposed to be one of the creepier ones. And uh, we will see. And tomorrow, uh, back to Vegas. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Did we get somewhere? Hey, suck it up. You gonna sleep okay next to that? Uh, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Thumbs down. This is very creepy. It's too realistic. The only thing it'd, be, it, it'd be worse if it were the, um, the original It. Yes. And it would be worse if he was drooling. Yeah. <laughs> or his teeth were out. Big time. Oh, the, 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 the sharp teeth? Yeah. The Tim Curry it would be worse yeah. than this one. Yeah. So so far no uh, no no activity. No nothing, not even a peep. No, but we'll see. No sounds. People are talking about like uh, TVs coming on and off. I heard the movie crew down there talking about that. I don't know about all that. We'll see. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll keep you updated throughout the night, folks. Yeah. Nothing uh, weird happened overnight. Scott's white noise maker, which actually helped us both sleep. So maybe, maybe ghosts were turning the AC off because we couldn't get it to run the way we wanted it to run. Maybe. But outside of that, do you have any problems? No, nothing. It was pretty quiet. Some walking around upstairs, but no paranormal activity. Yeah, whoever was in the room above us was pretty loud. Yeah. But um, that's it. I didn't hear anything weird. <laughs> But uh, we'll do one last little outside tour before we get out of here and uh, start making our way back to uh, Vegas. Goodbye, Pennywise. We appreciate the uh, time and effort in the room here. We slowly back out. 
got to be the manager not on camera. Bye, everybody. So here it is in the light of day. I'm get you guys the up front. Cemetery during the day, just so you see what it looks like. We were out here at night. I think I lost the audio last night. But, uh, pretty creepy to say the least. Now we're gonna go turn our key in and get out of here. Well, as you can see, it's daytime. We lived. We're about to head back home, or not home, to Vegas. Make some stuff some way, but we did survive the Clown Hotel. Again, I want to thank everybody who donated to make this happen for us to pay for the car rental out here, the, the big hotel room, the, the Pennywise room, the haunted room. Even though we didn't get really much uh, action, if you will, uh, from the ghosts or anything, the owners are great. It's a fantastic little place to just. It's. I mean, the rooms are what they are. You know, uh, there, there, there's an older rooms decorated has clowns so you come for the atmosphere for sure and it's worth it it's so worth it the bed was fine comfortable the room was fine um it's, it's just the atmosphere and the enjoyment of being out here talking to the other patrons who were who were here uh we missed out on the clown motel three or two shooting uh by day really cool um but so yeah thanks for everyone who's sitting out there hope you enjoyed our video i'm gonna film some more stuff back in vegas and uh i hope you enjoyed our little tour of the clown motel and uh i encourage you to come on out to tonopah it's a great little town, lots of neat stuff. Um, again, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, big tea traveling video. Bye.